Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of August. Very quickly, what is the TBR Takedown, you ask? Well, the TBR Takedown is a game that I'm playing this year, trying to get my physical, unread TBR shelf down from a really high number to a somewhat manageable number. I started out the month of August with 185 unread books on my shelves, so it's a lot. <laughs> but uh, this month will be interesting. I had a phenomenal reading month this month, so I am super excited to get into it, see what the new number is going to be. I think I'm going to do a bit of an unhaul at the end of this one as well. I have some books that I've been kind of debating on getting rid of, so I think those are probably going to go um, today as well. And so we'll have hopefully a really good number at the end. So we are, as always, going to start with the haul portion of my month. And the first book that I hauled is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the follow up to Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Each of these books follows a different sister in the Brown family. So I'm not completely sure if it's going to be necessary to have read the first book before you read this one. But I know this book follows Danny Brown, who is very career driven. And while is very happy in her sexual life, she really doesn't like romance. She's not really big into dating. And so there's a fake dating trope in here, uh, which I love. is always super fun in romance novels. So I'm excited to get to this one, hopefully very soon. Then we have Undercover Bromance, which is the follow-up to The Bromance Book Club, both by Lissa K. Adams obviously. Again, I don't know that it's necessary to have read the previous book to read this one because it does follow different characters in the same friend group. I know this series follows men who are like sports stars, big businessmen, um, this group of men who come together and read romance novels in order to help themselves in their relationships. And so this book follows a couple who are not a couple, but two people from the first book into probably becoming a couple, which is probably the point of the book. And the last book is Star Daughter by Shvita Thakrar, and this is the Owl Crate edition, so purple sprayed edges. Yeah, uh, this book is gorgeous. This book follows Sheetal, who is a part human, part star hybrid. Her mother is a star, her father is a human and for some reason she has to basically hide who she is and the stars speak to her at night and the sun pulls her to it and on her 17th birthday or near her 17th birthday i could be wrong about that uh, basically the sun's pull becomes too strong and so she ends up burning her father and because she is part star the only way to heal his burns are to have the blood of a full star. And so she goes on this journey to go into the stars and find the star that can heal her father. And the stars decide that in order for them to agree to do that, they need her to be their human champion and to fight this battle that's going to decide the fate of everything, I'm sure. Shvita was one of our authors for the Social Distance Book Fest earlier this year and she talked about this book on one of the panels that she was in that I watched and just really fell in love with the way that she talked about the story. So I'm super excited to get to this one as well. And now we have gotten to the reads portion of the video. As always, I will link in the description box below as well as in the cards my wrap up for the month. So if you want to hear my full thoughts on these books, definitely go there, check those out. I'm just going to go through the list, tell you what I read, if it counts or didn't count, because I read quite a few books this month that didn't count. So go through all of those and then we will go from there. The first is The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones, which does not count as I do not own a copy of that book. Ghost Town by Phoebe Rivers. The Coven by Kate Tiernan and Blood Witch by Kate Tiernan both count, but I've currently lent out my book. Best Friends Forever by PJ Knight. Dark Magic and Awakening by Kate Tiernan. Lobizona by Romina Garber, which does not count as I read my ARC copy. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. The Lost City and The Morning Flower, both by Amanda Hawking, which do not count as I read ARC copies. The Fantasy Fiction Formula by Deborah Chester, which does not count as I didn't count it when I hauled it, but it was a book I read. And The Lost Man by Jane Harper. If I was doing my math correctly, that is 10 books 
that do count out of 15 I think. All right let's talk unhauls. First in the unhaul pile is three books by Anne Rice, The Vampire Chronicles. So it is Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire List That, and The Queen of the Damned. I'm never gonna read these. I have issues with Anne Rice. I still think it's pretty and I still like it but you know what? Barnes and Noble sells all kinds of editions of books like this that are not by authors that I don't want to read. So this is going in the unhaul pile. That's three books out. I'm also low-key unhauling The Catcher in the Rye, The Notebook, and Pride and Prejudice. Never gonna reread these. I've read them all so they don't count towards coming off of my TBR but I'm never gonna reread them so better to put them in the hands of someone who will. And then I have four more that are all Jane Austen novels. Emma, Persuasion, and Sense and Sensibility, and also Northanger Abbey, which I have no clue where it is. It's on my shelf somewhere. I know I own it, but I can't find it. So it will be on hold as soon as I discover where its location is currently. I have tried to read Emma. I've tried to read Sense and Sensibility. While I enjoy them as like TV shows, movies, etc., uh, much like Pride and Prejudice, I enjoy the movies and the this TV series and things like that. It's just, it's so dry when you're reading it. If you can't tell from the things that I read, I typically read fantasy novels or something that is sci-fi or has some kind of a magical element to it. And while the stories in these are great, the reading experience for me is just an utter atrocity. And I can get the story from a movie or a TV show and not have to have the bad experience of reading the book. It's not to say that they're not for everybody, they're classics, and I think that unlike a lot of classics, these are classics for a reason. I don't like a lot of classics. Some of them I've read and I just don't like the story, at least these I like the story, but not for me. Never gonna read them. Again, better to put them in the hands of someone who will. Ah, there's one more. One more that I want to unhaul, but I can't reach it. I lied, there was one more. Melissa Explains It All, Tales from My Abnormally Normal Life by Melissa Joan Hart. Um, I bought this when I was in a big binge of reading uh, famous celebrities biographies or memoirs or whatever you want to call them. I didn't pick this one up at the time but I was like Melissa Joan Hart. I love Melissa Joan Hart except maybe I kind of don't love Melissa Joan Hart. Like I've heard some things recently and I was like well you know I could still read the book and enjoy the book because I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch and I love Clarissa Explains It All and then I went and looked at reviews and the majority of the reviews are pretty negative and say that she doesn't really talk about those two shows. She talks about a bunch of other stuff. She doesn't really talk about her time on those shows. So that seems like a waste of my time to me. If I want to read this in the future, I'll just pick up an audiobook and read it. I am not pressed to read it right now, so I'm going to unhaul this as well. So that is eight unhauls that do count plus three spares, but we're not counting those. So I have to do math now. 185 plus 3 is 188. Minus 10 is 178. Minus 8 is 170, which is amazing. That's a great number. I can live with that number. That is, where, where did we start? 185 to 170. So we got rid of 15 books. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that number. I actually read 15 books this month. So it all kind of washes out at the end. Let me know in the comments below if you have a really ridiculous TBR or if you are playing some sort of TBR game to help yourself get your TBR down. I love watching those. They're super fun. So I would love to know if you're doing that. If you have read any of the books that I hauled and you want to let me know how you felt about those or if you've read any of the books that I read and you want to talk about those that's why we're here. We could do that. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends, sometimes when I'm feeling like uploading stuff, which lately hasn't been hardly at all ever. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!